I am Nuria Carbo. I am 23 years old. I am from Cati, a little town in Valencia, in Spain, and I play percussion. I am the first generation in, of musicians in my family. Well, I'm, my grandfather used to play uh, um, snare drum in the military band when he was young, and now he still plays sometimes in the wind band of my hometown. And yeah, I think that was one of the reasons why I, I chose percussion when I was seven years old. <laughs> and yeah, I, I first started uh, to play in, in the wind band of my hometown. When I go there, and it's really nice because I, I have the opportunity to, to share the stage with him. He's a bit stubborn sometimes, <laughs> but uh, it's really, really nice. And uh, I think, you know, um, we, never, we should never forget where, where we come from, um, what this, where are our, our, our roots, where we start to, to be who we are right now. No? And um, I really, uh, it's really nice to come to my hometown and play with them. And, and it's something I, I would really, want to keep doing uh, as, as much as I can. I love to play in orchestra. When I was in Barcelona, I played really in a lot of orchestras and um, in, I was joining the Youth Orchestra in Catalonia. And I, I love to play with them. It's really, it's, you play few stuff, but it's, it's that few stuff that you have to do perfect and you have to do research for that. And I, I really, love to play uh, this but I think it was more that you don't have uh, the chance to do the creativity uh, the, the, to to have more freedom in your playing it's uh, this world of uh, everybody plays the same everybody plays the same excerpts everybody wants to be better than the one before everybody yeah it's this daily life competition that I was not really comfortable with and uh, yeah um, I started, I found myself thinking of what I'm going to do. It's not where I belong. And yeah, then, yeah, I also played some jazz in the, in the bachelor and it was something that really made me f discover like there's freedom playing. It's not just playing what it's written. And um, yeah, jazz and new music were my other two, two exits from that and I choose new music, but I still uh, play jazz from time to time. Mani Mata by, by Pierluigi Bilone, it's the basis of my, the piece, it's the basis of my, of my program. It's really a first love, first side love with this piece. It was from the beginning, I, I felt really connected to You have to learn to play the marimba in another completely different way that you did before. And I think uh, B uh, Bilone does, does it amazing. The, the research for sounds, the, also not for the, the performer, but for the, for the audience. It's really amazing to, to hear it from outside. It's 20 minutes, but it makes you, you I think, I feel it like it's five because it's, it's really, really crazy what he does.
this research of wood, uh, of the sound of the wood, brought me to um, Idem by Arturo Corrales, that uh, also he says um, it's not a piece for marimba and setup. It's a piece for the bass drum, um, wood blocks, and marimba. It um, mixes the sound of the wood blocks with the marimba and makes one instrument with that, and also the bass drum uh, doing uh, kind of clave, um, um, yeah, rhythm, but almost you cannot hear it because it's um, so uh, extended that it's not perceivable, but it's there and it's really, uh, yeah, really cool. In the program of, of Berlin Prize, I, I use different uh, ways of playing the marimba, not the ordinary ones with the, just the mallets, two or four mallets or even six. Um, for Manimata, for example, I play uh, the marimba with the um, bass drum mallets, which creates uh, in the low part of the marimba, creates this uh, atmosphere of only this, that actually I'm playing a lot of notes, but in the public you hear uh, this uh, really amazing sound. Mm -hmm. 